But this is extremely interesting question, right? Is there a number a such that limit x approaches minus 2 of this rational function 3x squared plus ax plus a plus 3 divided by x squared plus x minus 2 exists? If so, find the value of a and limit of the function. So, if I plug in minus 2 in the denominators, what do I get? So, minus 2 squared is 4 and 4 and minus 2 is plus 2 and plus 2 minus 2 is 0. So if I plug in x equals to minus 2 in my function then denominator is 0. So the limit can exist only if we have a factor in the numerator uh, which has minus 2 in it, x minus 2 as a factor. Okay. So if deno denominator is 0 because x is approaching minus 2 numerator should also be 0 when x equals to minus 2. In that case, we will have a um, 0 by 0 situation and then if we factor the numerator, then the factor which is making it 0 will get cancelled out, right? And then we will have a limit as x approaches minus 2. So therefore, uh, we realize that for x equals to minus 2, we should get 0 in the numerator and that is the only condition when uh, this kind of a rational function can have a limit. So what we are trying to say is that limit of 3x squared plus ax plus a plus 3 should be equal to 0 for x approaching minus 2. right? So this actually condition gives us the value for a. So this implies if I plug in minus 2 here, I get 3 minus 2 square plus uh, x is minus 2. So let me write, okay, let me write like this first, plus a plus 3 equals to 0. And from here, I can solve a. So I get minus 2 square is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. So I got 12 and minus 2a, right? And then I got plus a uh, plus 3 equals to 0, right? So minus 2a plus a is minus a, right? And so we get 15 minus a equals to 0, which implies that a equals to 15, right? So we have the value of a as 15. Now, since we have found a, now, now this says, if so, find the value of a and limit of the function. Now, we have to find limit of the function knowing that a is 15 for us. So we can plug in 15 in our equation and then proceed to find the limit. So if we do so, then we get limit of x approaches minus 2 of this function and we'll replace a with 15. So we get 3x squared plus 15x plus 15 plus 3, I can write 18 also, right? Let me write 18 here. And here I have x squared plus x minus 2. Correct? So that is my function. And now I can factor this function and just so we get this is equals to limit x approaches minus 2. And I can factor this, right? So I can take 3 common in the numerator. Then I'm left with x square plus 5x plus 6, right? And here we know uh, minus 2. That means minus 2 times Plus, one, plus 2 times minus 1 will give me the right. So we get x plus 2 times x minus 1, right? Now, this could be factored and we get limit x approaches minus 2 and we get this and product has to be 6 and sum is 5 so the factors are 2 and 3. So we get x plus 2 times x plus 3 over x plus 2 times x minus 1, correct? So that is factored equation and we can now take it to this side and then work it out, right? Now, so we can cancel out the common factors and that will enable us to substitute minus 2 in our equation, right? So we get this is equals to limit x approaches minus 2 and we are left with 3 times x plus 3 over 
x minus 1, right? Now, since these factors which were making numerator and denominator 0 have been cancelled out, now do you appreciate that why a value worked for us? We were trying to find the value of a which was making the numerator also 0, right? That means we'll get a common factor. x minus 2 is making things 0. That means x plus 2 should be a common factor in both numerator and denominator. And that resulted into finding a limit when x approaches minus 2. Do you get my point? So that is that is what it is. So this function actually, here we have a restriction that x is not equal to minus 2 and nor is it equal to 1, right? Because these are the two factors of this function. And now we can plug in minus 2 here and get our answer. So we get 3 times minus 2 plus 3 over minus 2. Oh, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So we can write like this, right? And then we get minus 2 plus 3 is 1. And so we get 3 over minus 3, which is minus 1. So therefore, the limit of this function for a equals to, so, so for a equals to 15, right, limit of the function x approaches minus 2, let me write f of x is equals to minus 1, okay, so that is our answer, okay, and that, this is a very beautiful question, it comes under thinking and application questions, right, and this is a huge application. If you need to find a limit when the denominator is zero, that means you're trying to find the same factor in the numerator which could be cancelled out, and then we could find the limit as x approaches that value. Okay, thank you.